Hello and welcome to Gothic Reviews. Today we are reviewing a dark red cap goblin. They are known in folklore from legends coming usually from Scotland or the whole UK area have different castles. And this is an interesting type of goblin it's supposed to uh, guard the castle by destroying the traveler who comes uninvited and they have red hats because the, the hats are soaked in the blood of the victim. So basically it's a guardian type of a goblin and sometimes some of them have been depicted as a nicer kind in which case they are more similar to regular brownies but enough of them were more mischievous, a little bit vicious, almost like a well-trained guard dog that's good to its masters but very hostile to those intruders, so they're useful to have around. And they could be friendly to you and worse to your enemy. <laughs> and this one is well made, really. This one is from actually the Spiderwick Chronicles, um, but they did focus on a lot of neat fairy legends. And that's something that we are interested in, so we checked it out even though it was a kids movie. Um, because a lot of kids movies focus on cool fairy tales and the darker aspects of fairy tales and whatnot. So we were very excited when they did a bunch of goblins and came out with um, action figures of them. Goblins are so mutable, you know, normally ghosts or um, different witches or, or anything in fairy tales look similar. like. You know, you're not going to see like one sort of ghost and then see a totally different sort of ghost that you wouldn't even recognize as a ghost, for example. Like, you know, you, you usually see a few differences in ghosts, but a ghost is a ghost and, and whatnot. But goblins, like you can look up images of goblins online and you can see like totally different creatures from each other. So goblins are interesting because they're so mutable. There doesn't seem to be like a specific, this is how a goblin is supposed to look sort of thing. Like, um... We're going to review eventually Grip Hook from Harry Potter. He looks very different than this goblin, um, who also looks different from some of the other goblins um, that we've seen in figures or images online. For instance, the goblins in the Labyrinth with the Goblin King, or goblins, um, even the Green Goblin from the superhero genre, or he was the Green Goblin, right? Is that right? Yes, he was the Green Goblin that was the adversary of Spider-Man. See, I'm not really into that, so you can tell. <laughs> Superheroes just never um, grab in my imagination, I suppose. But he's cute, especially in his little elf clothes. I love that touch. But, you know, they're just so mutable. They always kind of, there's not one single stereotype of how a goblin looks, apparently. So this one's a fun one. And, and generally, the fact that they had him as a red cap is really cool, um, the specific brand. He is... Probably, I can't remember what a five inch figure, I would guess. That seems right. Um, and if you look up Spider Wick Chronicle Toys, I'm sure Amazon has it. It seems to have everything. This is not the one from McDonald's. McDonald's, I don't think, put out a red cap. This is actually one you'd have to get from, um, I guess he was sold in toy stores at the time of Spider Wick Chronicles. But if you look up red cap from Spider Wick Chronicles um, online, if you're interested, I'm sure he's still available to buy. We ordered him online from somewhere. Probably Amazon or eBay. Um, but if we put up a link because it is a toy from a, um, a few years ago, I think 2008, um, I'm not sure how long the link would be valid, so I don't know if we're going to do that just because of that. Um, but I would check eBay and Amazon, and it's, again, red cap. But here are her, his points of articulation. Um, he doesn't have any arm movement in joints, just the shoulders. And his arms kind of go up by, they do this little, oops, <laughs> popping sound. Um, because I guess if you just want to lift it a little or a little more or a little less and do that little smidgen, you have the little clicking exact movements. And they hold. They don't, like, fall and droop. So that's kind of interesting. And um, all of the toys from Spiderwick that were put out like that, again, not the McDonald's ones. They're different. They're also nice. But other people have reviewed those. They don't have the kind of popping movement. His weapon came out, but it came back in just as easily. So, this looks like some kind of tree branch club. And this one is what a pike? A pike staff. A pike staff, which makes sense because it's a taller one, much taller than the other weapon that he is holding over here. Um, and his arm, again, moves the same way here. He has very nice clothes. The other goblins are not dressed, so he is a different breed and a different level of standing where he gets to wear nice clothes. And he has cool feet with the long toes and the claws 
and that's where he is under well that's how he looks under I should say um, and here is his appearance from the back his hat is also very cute it reminds me a little bit of the musketeers hats maybe from France oh yeah that makes sense some kind of pirate hat look almost but not really yeah so yeah um, and his hips turn and it makes his arms move um, or that yeah like that <laughs> well good it didn't pop out that's good I'm happy okay and um, but that's not a, a bad noise or a breaking noise it's just the way his um, articulation works so it's supposed to do that but he can turn there his head does not move um, and his left leg moves and interestingly it just moves it doesn't have the popping um, points so he can like hold his left leg like all the way up for whatever reason he wouldn't stand very well and he can put it all the way back like he's standing kind of on one back <laughs> toe and the front is he gonna fall no he's not cool that's all the way back if he wants to have a different maybe fighting motion stance um, interesting martial art kind of stance or something and so the, le the right leg gives uh, excuse me the left leg gives him more ability to pose and the right one does not move and both knees are kind of bent in a crouch um, not sure how well that would show up because it's smaller but um, I don't really mind that he doesn't move super much because it doesn't matter it just looks so cool and it's neat to just have a red cap figure because they are so prominent to goblin lore so it's just very cool I like how he has uh, he's made primarily of brown and he has green eyes it shows the colors of the earth that goblins some goblins are supposed to come from and it's like the the tree and the uh, vegetation together like the defensive forces of nature if you will and it's also interesting that his position of feet reflects to me his particular characteristic in folklore where he's supposed to be the fastest goblin around and you can never escape him so it's like he's not committed to any stance and he sort of stands in between his foot uh, is always on the move type of thing that's why you probably can oppose it quite as well but it does represent the traditional appreciation of him and i like also the scheme of colors overall like the blue uh, of his jerking and the red of his cap it, they're all way, well made and they uh, match nicely with the brown and the green so it's all well done i think it's interesting to have the nature touch that gomez mentioned of the actual goblin and then the human touch of the humanized clothes since he's dealing with humans in their castles for good or ill and whatnot and he kind of adapted some of that um, he as in this one or red caps in general that is interesting and um, I think all of the Spiderwick figures have interesting nature lore connections they, they all look very naturish in their way and I like that obviously since they're fairies they should be but they did carry that across well some of them are kind of weird looking for how I would imagine certain types of fairies or sprites to look but they're all interesting in their way um, and they all kind of definitely still have that nature feel so um, whether it's my specific idea of how it should look or not doesn't really matter it's because they're all so mutable and it's fascinating and they've all kind of grown on me in their way and um, so yeah they're, they're nice figures and we recommend them for decor and just they're fun to have around. So, um, And spider Rick is a cute movie and a cute little series of books um, for themselves. I don't know that they're the best literature ever, but they're cute and charming. And especially the figures are just really neat to have. So I'm glad that they came out. So this is our review of Red Cap, the Goblin from the Spiderwick Chronicles. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, share, and join us for more fun videos.